am so excited about this part of the show because anybody that knows me knows that I love theater, specifically Broadway. And so who better to talk to than the president of Broadway Across America Midwest, Leslie Broker. Leslie, thank you so much for joining us. What a time it's been for you guys. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for having me. And yeah, it's been crazy. But finally, we're seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. Now, let's talk about Broadway here in Indianapolis. Recently, we had a bunch of shows that were canceled, but now we have some things on the schedule. That's right. We were actually able to replace all five shows that we had originally announced for the 2021 season. We just moved them a little later. So we're we're excited. Subscribers are all set. It's it's really great that we were able to kick off again as we had planned. Tell me a little bit about the shows that we can expect. And will there be any changes, you know, especially with COVID-19 protocol? Sure. Well, first of all, as far as the COVID protocols, you know, this has been so fluid. I mean, I was, I'm always an optimist and I had actually the shows we were canceling last year uh, in March, I was rebooking for August and September of 20. So we kept thinking we would come back soon. So I think it's too soon to be specific about what those COVID protocols will be because it's very fluid, but we will make sure that everyone that's working out, you know, backstage, anybody that's in the front of house and especially the audience, all are, are given the instructions and how we're going to roll that out to make sure everyone is able to come play safe. So we'll kick off the season with Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is just, you know, an all-time favorite, wonderful show for the family. Um, we follow that with Jesus Christ Superstar, Andrew Lloyd Webber's, you know, first rock opera, rock musical. Um, we've got Pretty Woman, which is music by Brian Adams. I mean, who would think Brian Adams would have done, take, you know, score such a, 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 a historical, important movie. Um, mean Girls, Tina Fey, say more i don't know maybe not and then we close the season with the atoni award-winning dear evan hansen which is is really just a fabulous musical it is all of those are phenomenal i recently saw well as recently as we can get in the pandemic right dear evan hansen amazing left there just wild so we have some good options now what does this mean with having broadway come back here to indianapolis because it really does impact so many things around our arts community Oh, uh, well, I think, first of all, the thing that we're feeling as we're announcing um, the comeback is people are saying light at the end of the tunnel. Um, we actually had people reaching out and, and wanting to get tickets. And our subscribers have been incredible because they've stuck with us through the whole thing. We said, your money is safe. Just keep rolling it forward. And as soon as we can get you in the theater. But I think, you know, you know, you're a theater lover. Theater people, you need to be in that theater and feel those goosebumps. And I would imagine that that first night back, you know, when you hear the downbeat come out of the orchestra pit, there may not be a dry eye in the house. I know I won't have dry eyes. And I'm sure that that sentiment is shared by the lovely actresses and actors that will be gracing the stage. Oh, gosh. Well, you know, we had come from away there last season, which was so well received. And in fact, that show is going to go and, and tape itself on Broadway. And I think for those actors getting to go back to work, even if it's for one day, plus the rehearsals to get started. But, you know, it's an amazing thing to try to get Broadway back on the road because we're all relying on each other. I'm reliant. Indianapolis is reliant on Cincinnati, is reliant on Kansas City because we have to be able to keep moving the shows. So those shows homes are our theaters you know they don't have a place where they just go and park for a while they're moving so it's very exciting hey before i let you go i know a lot of people are wondering about tickets and getting more information where can they go Go to our website, indianapolis.broadway.org. Ticket, season tickets um, start, I think, around $216, so it's quite a bargain for five shows. Single tickets will go on sale uh, a little bit later, generally about six weeks out in advance of the show. But, you know, we're just so excited to come back. Leslie, thank you so much. Everybody's so excited about this, and I know that we'll have many questions to come. Congratulations for coming back. Thanks. I look forward to seeing you at the theater. Such great news. We cannot wait.